Welcome back to my Carson channel. This was race four of the Need for Speed event. So if you haven't already, go and check out the other videos that I've uploaded. They're all on my channel. So I uploaded race one a couple of days ago. I didn't upload race two because uh, it just there wasn't a lot of action and I started fourth and ended fourth. So it wasn't really worth my time editing and doing a voiceover for it really because there wasn't much action. It was pretty a pretty dead race really on my end of to, of the um, stick. Must, might have been more entertaining for other people, but yeah, it just wasn't very entertaining for me. So I just did decide to not upload it. But I've just uploaded the race three. I've just uploaded that now. So as I'm recording this voiceover, that's just gone live. So go and check that video out. I know it'll have been. If you're watching this video as soon as it comes out, I would have uploaded that yesterday. So definitely go and check them out. They're all very interesting. Lots of overtakes happen, and yeah, definitely recommend them. And if you're a returning viewer of mine, you'll probably know what I'm about to say now. So this was the international track on speed four. So these lap times do not qualify towards BIKC. So if anyone's wanting to set some lap times towards BIKC, you've got to go on a Monday three for two session which I get I, like I've said in my previous videos I highly recommend or to public sessions so the lights are going red to green now and it was a pretty chaotic start this one because I got hit from everywhere like you'll see in a second I went for the move here and then I've got a massive whack from behind so I'm very lucky I had my, my neck protected to be fair because that could have given me a bad whiplash and here I couldn't do anything because someone was driving full blast into the back of me so I nearly spun out cart 43 but I couldn't do anything about it because someone just decided to not break behind me so I just I couldn't stop because they were just pushing me into 43 so I just tried my best to just try and make as little contact as possible but I just couldn't because of the battles behind me so you might hear me in my video I shout a little bit because it sort of hurt but it didn't really hurt because I'm, I've got the protection, I've got the neck protector, I've got my rib protector, so if I didn't have any of that protection, I probably would have had a bit of a bit of whiplash, but that's why you have to buy the protection, because, yeah, like I said, I probably would have got whiplash from that, because it was quite a hefty hit from behind, because everyone just had to break and follow each other's brakes, and if one person doesn't break, which the cart behind me obviously didn't, it just causes a chain effect, and everyone just this them breaking, and... It's just pretty chaotic on grid starts, and I could I I was been saying to all the members, I'm surprised that hasn't happened already yet from all the races that's happened, because with the start it's pretty tight and like narrow, so I'm surprised it's not happened earlier. That to be fair, but it happened to me, and I was all good, so that's good. So now the gap to cart 43 has become a little bit bigger than I wanted, so I was just trying to push on to try and get as many overtakes as possible because I start I don't know, I can't remember what position I started but I think I started towards the middle of the pack or near the back of the middle if you know what I mean so you see Tom Malibur see again there it's just the chain of break and I didn't, have to, I didn't have enough time to break there so I just didn't have enough time to break so I accidentally went into the cart back of cart 43 got a little bump from behind again which is yeah it's pretty chaotic hit the barrier there this was a very bad lap from me um, yeah, I was just trying to get myself back together from the bit, the massive crash of this lap one, really, because that was a pretty hefty crash, to be fair, but uh, everyone was all good, no one was like hurt, no one was, yeah, I think I probably got the worst of it, really. So as you can probably see, you can see cart 43 and 47 ahead. I tried to close the door there because, well, the cart behind me just wasn't, just wanted to get past, so... And then I got spun out because I closed the door. But I got I flat my hands. I don't know why I flat my hands to be fair, because I don't know, I was just a bit annoyed. But cart 43 is chasing 47, trying to find the move, and then you've got cart I don't know who what car that is ahead, but that's Lewis. Who he's he's good as well. I was just looking to my blind spots, making sure there's enough gap to the look where I'm not gonna get dive bombed. Because through the uh, the hairpin there it's a very vulnerable spot for dive bombs because I've made a few dive bombs there and lots of people have made dive bombs there it's a very great spot to make a dive bomb so you've just got to close off all the doors really and just try and close off the door like I've said so then no one can make that dive bomb 
So we've got a bit of a train forming here because I think there's a slower car up ahead of Lewis. Yeah, so Lewis managed to get past the one in the orange helmet. I actually hit the barrier there. So the one in the orange helmet, to be fair to him, he does defend very well. Because you'll see in a minute I get caught up behind him and I was caught up behind him for quite a few laps. Because to be fair to him, he does defend very well. So you'll see Tom Malaburn looks for the move, just can't get it done. And yeah, like I said, we've got a train going on here. Everyone's just trying to push on to try and get that overtake done. And as you can see, the gap from that, the, the person with the uh, orange helmet and Lewis, who was the car you can see zooming off now, uh, is gone, is, is increased massively and Lewis only just overtook him uh, earlier on that lap, really. So you can just see pretty much how someone defending can really slow the pack behind, really, because we're all creating a train here just trying to get past and everyone else in front is just zooming off so basically I just wanted to try and get past as many people as soon as possible because like I said in the, my other videos these 15 minute races they're only short and snappy so you've got to try and make the most of your time as you can see 43 is looking for that move on the inside Tom Malaburn in 47 closes the gap which is good defending and as you can see the gap to the carts ahead have already increased massively because we've got the train going on here so Tom's looking for the move I think he gets it done along the straight or oh, yeah, yeah I think he gets it done yeah he gets it done so now it's me and 43 to try and get past 53 is that 53 yeah, I think it's 53 so there's just a bit of chaos here just a few bumps here and there and as you can see Tom Malaburn in four in 47 has already managed to create a bit of a gap so as you can see we just, we're just trying to get past really just as quick as possible so as you'll be able to see 43 is trying to get the better exit from 40, 53 I think, it's, I think it's 53 the one in the orange helmet I think his car's 53 so 43 is just all over the back of 53 just trying to get that overtake done and to be fair to 53 he's defending very well he's breaking in the right places he's accelerating in the right places and he's putting his car in the right places and you'll be able to see in a second, he actually puts 43 under pressure from me because he makes a mistake coming through here and then I'll just capitalise on it in a second because you see, a bit of a bump but then 53 makes a mistake, so does 43 and I just sail right through. So I was just sat there waiting patiently behind them both and the, the gap opened and I went for it. And I went for the defensive line there just to make sure 43 would not get past me and now it's my turn to try and get that overtake done on 53 but like I said earlier he defends very well oh bit of slide there just feeling the pressure from 43 behind just looking making sure he's not going to be able to make that move and the gap to 53 has opened up a little bit now so I've just got to push on just driving defensively and attackively which is quite difficult really because you're trying to drive as fast as possible so you need to try and find the fastest line but then if you're defending you've got to put your car into the middle of the track and then you've got to brake more in the corners so it's just the case of trying to find that space behind you so then be able to attack in front so if you're defending and attacking at the same time it's quite difficult so I'll come back in a minute when I manage to get the move done on 53 I think it's in a couple laps time so yeah I get stuck behind 53 for a few laps which wasn't the greatest for my race because I could have gone on to get even more positions which could have won me the entire event because not won me the entire event but got me onto the podium for the event because like I said in my previous videos for Need for Speed to the, in, in this night the podium to fifth was very very close the person who finished in third got 47 points the person who finished in fourth got 46 points and I finished in fifth with 46 points so as you can see there's one point separating the basically third fourth and fifth so if one person just got one more overtake on a fastest lap lap because you get an extra point for getting the fastest lap so if I just got one more point or two more points I would have got on the podium so in hindsight it's so annoying because if I just knew that I would have been pushed on even in even more to get that move done but yeah 
it's that's racing at the end of the day. You can't do anything about it. And again, I'm driving defensively here, trying to just get the fastest line as possible, just to try and get past 53. But then I'm being attacked constantly from 43 behind. I think it's 43. But yeah, I'm being attacked constantly, and 53 is driving very well, just trying to get that defensive line. And I'm just giving him little love taps here and there because I'm just trying to get that move done really. And you'll see I make a dive bomb here, like I said earlier. The, the hairpin is a favourite for the uh, the dive bomb, really. I think most people try and make a move along the hairpin if you've got enough speed and you've got the space. So because a hairpin can be pretty dangerous if you don't, because a hairpin, a dive bomb on a hairpin, you either do it successfully or fail very miserably. So you either do it successfully, which I think I did, but if you do it miserably then it could result in you being crashed out or the car who you're, you're dive bombing could be crashed out so yeah you've just got to find that crucial amount of space and if you've got the speed to then get past so I think this is where I get him done here because I think I've got enough space I've got the speed and I look for the inside make the dive bomb it was a little bit too much contact which so I think I was, I was on the cut over of a, of a bad dive bomb there but I think I got it done within reason and now my objective here really is just to try and catch Tom and Lewis ahead so Tom's the one in the white helmet and Lewis is the car Lewis is the car just in front of Tom who's in the white helmet so they're both juniors at Team Sport Liverpool so I was just really trying to push on to try and get them really because they're both the same weight as me really so there's not, not, not really a weight advantage for me, so I've just got to try and find this, the best line. But there's a yellow flag here. I'm not sure really why there was a yellow flag. I'm guessing something happened on the, another just part of the track. So down to walking pace, just trying to catch up to the cart's head as well. So I was just looking here to see if, where the, if, was, if I could see where the crash was, but I don't really know what happened really for this yellow flag to come out. So I've looked on other people's videos and I can't see anything really, so... It's just, I don't know what happened. But it did me a favour because I was trying to catch up to Tom and Lewis, the carts ahead, the two carts ahead of me. And, yeah, I was pretty far behind. Well, I wasn't pretty far behind, but I wasn't, at, like, overtaking reach. So, yeah, this yellow flag did me a massive favour in order to try and catch up to them. And I was just fixing my hair there because it came out of my balaclava. So I was just trying to fix it because it was getting in my way. It was really annoying me because... It was just getting in my eye and I couldn't see it at some points. So I was just pushing it back into my balaclava and just trying to fix it really because it can get quite annoying if you've got like a fringe or which I've sort of got a fringe so it's really annoying if you're racing and you come down a ramp. So I was just pretty much trying to push it back into my helmet just out my, out my eye really. And you'll see Tom in the white helmet give a little hand signal to Lewis in the black helmet ahead. They were planning on working together to try and get as many overtakes as possible. But I knew the race was nearly over because I was speaking to my dad on my intercom. If you don't know about the intercom, go watch some of my previous videos. I explain it in there. And the lights go green. Tom's looking to defend against me. To be fair to him, he defended well through here. But he makes a crucial mistake which leads to me overtaking him through here. You see, he accidentally turns a bit too early, hits the barrier, and I just come straight through. You can see the pain in his in his foot on the wheel there but I slide right through and it was a good overtake for me really but it was sad for Tom because he was I don't, I don't know what position I'm in at the moment but he was pretty high up so he was fourth so now he went, he's gone from fourth to fifth within the space of half a lap which is sad really when, you, when you're the one getting overtaken but it was a good move for me and Lewis is now the car ahead and I was just pushing on pushing just to try and get that gap closed because they're all battling ahead you can see a little train's formed and the one in the green helmet's gone for the move there which is a pretty good move to go for so the one in the blue suit is now slamming Lewis down I go for the risky dive bomb which is quite good and then Lewis comes straight through and it was pretty naughty that from Lewis but it's fine because I do the exact same thing I shouldn't have done that overtake really but it was a little bit of um, here there and everywhere really through there because Lewis went for a risky move on me and then I just thought I'll go for a risky move on Lewis because I just thought 
I need to try and get that overtake done. So now I'm in third in this race now. So I was pretty happy with that overtake. And yeah, I was just I don't think in hindsight it wasn't the best moves to go for really because it was pretty it was pretty dirty overtake. And yeah, here's the checkered flag now. So I got him on the last lap or second to last lap. So yeah, watching back it was pretty naughty from both of us, but yeah, it's racing. You get all you get all excited and you get you both you just drive aggressively sometimes really. And I was just looking to my mum there because I thought I'd, I just got two overtakes on the last lap. Give a little thumbs up because I was fr I went from fifth to third in the space of a lap, so I was very happy with that. So yeah, but yeah, it's, it's, I, in watching back, it was pretty naughty from both me and Lewis. But hey, yeah, it's racing, it's hard racing from both of us. And at this point, I was knackered because that was an hour straight of racing pretty much. So I'll pop the lap times up in a second and you can see the positions and laps everyone's got. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment, do all that. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.